Hello everyone, it's Emily Hardesty here and I'm back with another Cornwall Wildlife Trust Reserve Nature Trail, this time at the wonderful Venton Gimps Nature Reserve. Now this reserve has a variety of habitats and these include wet and dry heath, areas of bog and some woodland as well. The pond habitats here are really important for many insects like damselflies and dragonflies and just the overall unique series of habitats in this reserve are just so important for so many different species and there are even some rare species here like the Dorset heath. The remains of a Second World War bomber were actually found here in 1977 and the hole that this left behind formed one of the really important ponds in this reserve as well. And the wet heathland areas in this reserve occur where either shallow peat or mineral soils are seasonally waterlogged and in general heathland habitats can have quite nutrient poor acidic soils but it is the shallow peat in these wetland heath areas that can be very ecologically important. So peat is formed through the decomposition and accumulation process of plant materials on land and this formation can take a very long time. To be exact, one metre of peat can take a thousand years to form and this peat is one of the largest carbon stores, storing up to 550 gigatons of carbon. So this makes peatland areas vital for the fight against climate change. This reserve is also a site of special scientific interest, or SSSI, a really important conservation designation that again increases the reserve's protection. So let's see what species we can find along the way on this reserve nature trail today. Now I am definitely going to have to come back here later on in the year when this is in full bloom but I believe this is the rare Dorset Heath that I mentioned earlier so I'm so excited to see it. <laughs> Many birds feed on insects that are found within heathland habitats and on plants like Dorset Heath and the heath itself also provides shelter for different species like small mammals. have some gorse here and this plant does particularly well in heathland areas. So as mentioned, heathland soil can be quite acidic or nutrient poor. So plants found here have undergone differing adaptations to survive in these environments. And in particular, gorse actually hosts bacteria in its root nodules that can grab nitrogen from the air present within the soil to help it thrive. So I was just marvelling at an oak tree and I just spotted this gal and if you don't know what a gal is they are basically swellings or growths of external tissue of plants or trees that are caused by various parasites, fungi, bacteria or chemical injections from insects. Now this gal is actually called the marble gal and is typically found on oak trees and it is caused by the marble gal wasp larvae. Yes, this gal will keep the wasp larvae safe inside during its development and when the wasp is ready to emerge it will make a little hole in the side and fly out. So talking about oak trees, <laughs> we're going to do a little bit of tree ID today. Now I think this is a sessile oak and the reason I believe this is because of how the shoots look because they're a lot pointier than that of the English oak. And if you look at the leaves as well, the stalk is a lot longer which is again characteristic of a sessile oak species compared to an English oak. I find tree IDing really fun because there is just so many different ways that you can ID trees, you know, so you can do it by looking at the bark, the colour of the bark, how the ridges are in the bark, 
the colour and the shape of the leaves and the type and the look of the shoots as well. So yeah, it's just really cool. Another one of nature's wonders. <laughs> Now I believe this is the deer fern, or also known as hard fern, and it is quite a distinctive fern, a species within woodland and shady heath areas, thriving within areas of acidic soil, so perfect for the habitat I'm in now, and I just think it's rather pretty. It usually spreads out in quite wide clumps. So that's it from me today guys and I hope you enjoyed this reserve nature trail and there'll be many more reserve nature trails to come over the next coming months so stay tuned and keep safe.